I really don't go to races unless I feel I have a chance to win. Like, what is the point otherwise? <laughs> you might think you're serious. I don't know. I would love to win. A, I haven't even won a race this year, so I would love to win. Here we are. Uh, start of another week. Start of another video. Starting the way that all the videos start. Playing fetch with Flynn. This is not um, an attempt to use Flynn for engagement. This is truly just the one thing that we do. It's the thing we do the most. Happy report. Uh, Indian Wells already has one more field than uh, than this Santa Monica. The thing Indian Wells has going for it is the green grass. I mean, we're probably gonna get a three hundred dollar ticket for having a dog off leash, oh but. My God. All right, we just woke up here at the beautiful Lake Cahuilla, hope I'm saying that right, campground, which is actually right on the edge of the lake, where the triathlon, where we're swimming. So this is T1. I think this is probably a good opportunity to say I'm most likely not racing this. I've been doing training with Paula just to like stay fit and keep her company and everything, but I say I've been doing about 90% of the volume and 50% of the hard workout she's been doing. I left my name on the start list just in case. It sounded really fun and I had a lot of energy and was feeling less tired than I was headed into world championships. Man, I gotta say, if you didn't see our video two weeks ago, we're borrowing this storyteller van. We are in love with it. <laughs> I don't know if that's the builder we'll eventually go with, but just having a van that's that nice is just so comfortable and so relaxing. We've slept incredibly. Everything has a place. And um, imagining not having it is painful. Paula said it's like it's like having a puppy. Like, here, have this puppy for three weeks and then uh, and give it back. Down in the hole.
You want me to say anything or just get in? Do you want to interview me or not? What do you want to say? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm supposed to be like, welcome to Fighting Chance. I feel like I have a fighting chance this weekend. We usually probably like, do so you think you have a fighting chance to win the straights? And then you're like, I do have a fighting chance to win the straights. If I don't win, I'll be mad. <laughs> That's all I have to say. Yeah. No, just kidding. So you're here to win. <laughs> I, not I really don't go to races unless I feel I have a chance to win. Like, what is the point otherwise? <laughs> oh, you might think you're serious. Every race I've done this year has felt like the biggest deal ever, like PTO races, world championships, and it's nice to be at one that's a little more mellow. The start list is still really good. Tamara Jewett's here, I think there's some like really fast people, but my mindset leading in has been much more relaxed, which is fun. So, I don't know. I would love to win. A, I haven't even won a race this year, so I would love to win. I have won a race this year. <laughs> I've won several, actually. He doesn't even have to race. Right? I'm probably not even going to race, but I'm going through the motions. Oh, if you're not going to race. Then... Yeah, I've had to deal with this for two weeks now. Just like, maybe I'll race, maybe I won't race. The roller coaster, but it's okay. He's been a great training partner. Okay, we're two days out from the race. We're doing the check-in process. If you watched our video in 2019, you'll get a little bit better idea what's going on there. It's fully dark this year. And um, we're bringing Flynn because we like making our lives as difficult as possible. But here's what ha here's how it goes. Check-in is at the tennis center. Can I also get a picture of it, you guys? Eric, of course. You guys don't mind? So the general flow that we're going for here is tonight, two days before the race, we're gonna pick up packets here at the tennis garden. And then tomorrow morning, we'll head out to the lake with bikes, ride, drop bike, drop wetsuit at the lake, and then come back into town in the evening, I guess, to drop off T2 gear. Closing thoughts on the check-in procedure. Um, pros don't have to do this, but if you're an age grouper, you gotta pick a shuttle time uh, because ultimately you'll come here to T2 on race morning, get on a shuttle to the lake for your race day. So that water's gonna be cold. Rest for a beefy baby. <sighs> I'll stretch them out just a little bit. All right, see you later. Bye. Flynn.
You're staying. Yeah, I was gonna go up this one and then down that one. Okay, I guess now's the, the appropriate time. I decided I'm not gonna race. Or I should say I'm sticking to my initial plan since Worlds to not race. That's what feels right. You know, it's honestly, it's it's so hard when you're at an event and you're not racing or just you feel so much energy and excitement and it's just fun. It's a cool atmosphere. But uh, I haven't done all the training I would wanna do and I don't think I'm at the point in my career yet where I can go to pro races unprepared and just like be okay with whatever happens. So I'd like to be, but I'm still super competitive. And when I tow a start line, know that I've done everything I need to do to have the best day possible. So anyway, Flynn and I will be cheering on Paula. Nick will get here at some point tomorrow morning. And we'll just all have a great time cheering her on and everybody else on course. And uh, I'm looking forward to that. I'll never see you all day. <laughs> I'll make that too. Yeah. I don't know. I was, at first I was like... Just roll up your suits, making sure that any booties or caps are going to be inside the suit. And then we're going to take your suits, we're going to submerge you with both hands under the water for 15 seconds. Make sure nothing's floating above the water. 10 seconds. Oh, what's, it what's the water temp in here? 59 degrees. This is? So it's about the same as the lake. No, the lake is going to be a little bit colder. Okay, you can take your sweat suit out of the water and head over to the side and take it. Any thoughts? No, super easy. That looks good. Super hungry. So, like, here, try it and see what you think. It doesn't look right, but I saw one brought him in that it looked perfect, so. And the stone is really good. Fantastic day tomorrow, weather wise. And this is a transition race, as most of you know. Hopefully, how many people have been here before? You raced here? Okay. Um, you've got to do some work today. You got to get your bike into transition. You got to go dip your wetsuit. Water temperature 57 degrees, wetsuit legal for you guys. And the lake, in order to swim in it, we have to dip wetsuits in chlorine solution. That takes place at T1 today. You get till 5 o'clock. How many racing shoes? They look good. Or do they just have the the tangerine stripe on the inside? That's cool. That's it. Are you filming me? Yeah. Doing what? Sipping out the van? Being all done uh, for the day. Yeah, so we... Uh... Did a bike ride, decontaminated our wetsuits, checked in our bikes, did a swim, checked in our run stuff, did the pre-race meeting, had lunch with Kenny and Toffer, uh, cleaning the van for the 17th time today because it's dusty. And uh, then we're gonna, now I'm just gonna do some Normatec, pack my bags, and get this race over with. And John, we're still looking for you. How do you still here? GCC, could you please come up with a quick start? We need you. Um, at the technical issue, we need you. Thank 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 you.
like to welcome you and say thank you very much for getting out here safely in Lake Kawea today. What a beautiful morning we have. Look at our sunset, just, sorry, sunrise. Just keep it, just keep it right there. Just over four minutes. 